All right, I need you to have your comet and asteroid um, article in front of you. So what you can do is you can um, listen to this video and while you're listening to me read, you can be looking at the other slide so that you can read along with me. All right, so the first article we're gonna look at is Comet versus Asteroid. All right. Um, oh, also what I wanna point out to you is while we are reading, um, I want you to be looking for the things that you are going to have to find the answers to in comparing comets, asteroids, and meteor meteoroids. So you're gonna be looking for what are they made of. So if you hear me say what they're made of, you might wanna kinda of make a mental note of that so you can go back and look later on. So what are they made of? Where are they found? How big or small are they? And what do they look like? All right, so let's get back to our comet versus asteroid article. All right, a comet is a small solar system body. They can be as small as 100 meters or as big as 40 kilometers across. Hmm, that's telling me how big or small. They have such low mass that they do not become spherical or round. Most comets have elliptical orbits around the sun. Some comets have 200 year orbits and others take millions of years to complete an orbit. Comets are distinguished by their comma and their tail. A comet is thin, a thin fuzzy atmosphere that surrounds the center of the comet. Like comets, commas are made of ice and dust. They form when a comet passes close to the sun. A tail is the trail of gas and dust that a comet leaves behind as it passes through the solar system. These tails usually leave behind solid debris of dust particles. All right, so let's take a look at comet vocabulary. Small solar system body, what is that? It's an object in the solar system that is not a planet, dwarf planet, or satellite of a planet or dwarf planet. What is a comma? A comma is a thin, fuzzy atmosphere that surrounds the center of the comet. What is the tail? The trails of gas and dust that a comet leaves behind as it passes through the solar system. All right, I heard many of those answers, so I hope you're making note of those. When we're done, you can go back and you can highlight those parts so it'll be easier for you to move back and forth to write in the graphic organizer. Okay, I'm gonna move my camera down so we can see the bottom part of this article. Now, the top part of the article was about comets. So this bottom part of the article is about asteroids. An asteroid is a small rocky body that orbits the sun. Asteroids are sometimes referred to as minor planets. Asteroids are made of carbon, rocks, and metals. Most asteroids in our solar system have orbits that lie between Mars and Jupiter. Unlike comets, asteroids do not have a comma or a tail. The biggest recorded asteroid is called Cirrus. Cirrus is 1,000 kilometers across and roughly a quarter the size of our moon. Asteroid vocabulary, minor planet, a celestial body that moves around the sun and is not considered large enough to be a planet. Celestial body, a natural object that is visible in the sky. All right. So that's the first article. So I heard many of those answers for your graphic organizer. So I want you to sometime go back and take a look at that article again and highlight the things that will help you get the answers to put in the graphic organizer. Okay, so the second article is, let me go back up here. The second article, is called Comets, Asteroids, and Meteors. All right, so the article looks like this at the top. I'm gonna move down to the part where I'm gonna start reading. Okay, the sun 
planets, and moons are not the only objects in the solar system. There are also millions of smaller objects, most of which are classified as comets, asteroids, and meteoroids. You can think of a comet as a dirty snowball about the size of a mountain. Hmm, okay, that tells us the size. Comets are loose collections of ice and dust and small rocky particles whose orbits are usually very long, narrow ellipses. Okay, there's another thing. There's another, um, that's a description. And that also tells me what it's made of. And um, I'm not sure it told me how big. Okay. Um, okay, we're right here. When a comet gets close enough to the sun, the energy in the sunlight turns the ice into gas, releasing gas and dust. Clouds of gas and dust form a fuzzy outer layer called a comma. The inner core of the comet is called the nucleus. The brightest part of the comet, the comet's head, is made of the nucleus and comma. As a comet approaches the sun and heats up, some of its gas and dust stream outward, forming a tail. A comet's tail is stretched very thin and can be more than 100 million kilometers long. Wow. Most comets are made in one of two distinct regions of the solar system beyond Pluto, the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud. Hmm, tells me where. That's in the organizer too. The Kuiper Belt is a donut-shaped region that extends from beyond Neptune's orbit to about 100 times Earth's distance from the sun. The Oort cloud is a spherical region of comets that surrounds the solar system out to more than 1,000 times the distance between Pluto and the sun. In the 1800s, astronomers discovered more than 300 objects between Mars and Jupiter. These objects called asteroids are too small and too numerous to be considered planets. Most asteroids revolve around the sun between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. This region of the solar system is known as the asteroid belt. One or more large asteroids hit Earth about 65 million years ago, filling the atmosphere with dust and smoke and blocking out the sunlight around the world. Scientists hypothesize that many species of organisms, including dinosaurs, became extinct as a result. A meteoroid is a chunk of rock or dust in space. Meteoroids come from comets or asteroids. When a meteoroid enters Earth's atmosphere, friction with the air creates heat and produces a streak of light that you can see in the sky, a meteor. Meteoroids that pass through the atmosphere and hit Earth's surface are called meteorites. The craters on the moon were formed by meteoroids. All right, so those are the two articles that I want you to use to fill in your graphic organizer. You can go back and take a look at these articles again. And you can use the highlighter to highlight things that you think would be good to put on the organizer and then move back and forth. And it's easier for you, for you to see where that information was and then easy for you to copy it down on your organizer. If you have any questions, you can always email me um, or you can join me for my office hours today from 11.45 until 12.30.